Hello everybody, uh, this is a new version of a video I already made, it's uh, in Hebrew and I did get some uh, requests if I can make uh, an English version, uh, so as you can hear it's not my native language, but I will try to do my best. This is my Canon 5D Mark III, uh, I have it for a year now, I got it in uh, April uh, of 2013. And basically, uh, this camera has had a lot of problems. Uh, I did post some videos in Hebrew, and uh, as I said, I'm, I'm going to uh, translate myself. So basically, what I'm going to talk about is uh, three different uh, problems I've been having. Uh, the first one is uh, arrow number 80. The second one is arrow number 70. And the third one uh, is a sound recording issue that... Uh, so start with the beginning. Uh, first of all, I'm mostly a video photographer, uh, so I am using this camera uh, most of the time as a, a video uh, recorder. Recorder. So the issues I've been having are uh, this, the Arrow 80, when you shoot stills, it uh, simply blocks the camera, it puts a arrow number here on top, and you have to pop the battery out and reinsert it and the camera uh, comes back to life. When you shoot a video, uh, basically what happens is that the camera uh, starts to strobe, the image uh, starts to uh, uh, shake in the back LCD screen and uh, after 5-7 seconds it uh, simply freezes and uh, this happened to me once uh, in the middle of a shoot it was four minutes in, uh, this camera can shoot uh, two uh, files of 15 minutes one after another, so basically you should get a 30 minutes recording time, but uh, as I said it happened uh, four minutes in, and actually the camera wasn't shooting uh, a lot before, so it wasn't like overheating or anything, it was also at uh, night time, so that shouldn't have happened. Uh, basically it did, it was uh, one of the time very important shot and it actually I did lost that shot because I had to take the battery out and it doesn't save anything and it was an action uh, it was a event I was shooting an event so I had to just take the battery out put it back in and keep on working I didn't have uh, enough time to switch batteries or anything so uh, that is that. I did have the good uh, luck of having uh, two other cameras uh, rolling at the same time, so thank God the, the job didn't get uh, too messed up. But uh, as far as the camera is uh, concerned, uh, that was a very big uh, issue with the camera. The second arrow I'm going to talk about is the arrow number 70. Uh, error number 70 happens also while shooting stills and while shooting a video. Actually I do have a... It did happen to me one time that I did have some spare time. Basically what happens is the camera simply froze. Uh, it, I started shooting the uh, shot. If you look at the video you can see that the uh, back screen is completely blacked out and uh, the timer is on zero 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 and the recording button is pressed on, on. Uh, the arrow is number 70 and, and basically the way I work uh, the camera is turned on it is in recording mode and the record button the record uh, icon the red dot is uh, blinking and the timer is not running and the camera is actually completely frozen uh, turning it on and off uh, turning going in and out of video mode uh, you can also see that the camera uh, is uh, stopped if you look at the video and you ask uh, yourself uh, what I have on top of it so that basically it's this little thing it's just a uh, uh, four ways actually five ways a uh, uh, cold tube and uh, actually on top I just screw the, uh, the light uh, on the back I have a receiver for the uh, microphone for the wireless wireless microphone and uh, on the side I have a mic an, an onboard microphone uh, but basically this has no electricity coming in I'm not using any type of uh, grip or anything I, I do use uh, this uh, Zacuto 
a viewfinder which is just that it screws from the back and a quick release so basically there is nothing uh, going on over there that should make the camera freeze and as I said it does happen while shooting stills also and shooting stills I'm I don't have anything on the camera I just uh, if I'm if I do use a flash I use a uh, this and it didn't happen while using a flash so uh, the batteries I use are only Canon batteries and I do have them numbered so I know uh, while working which batteries I have charged and which ones uh, if I have a bunch of them in my pocket so I can uh, and I usually I use one and I put it in the other pocket but you know sometimes actually inside the camera I do have a Transcan a uh, 32 gigabyte with one of those fast ones the uh, 400x type uh, I'm using an extreme uh, SanDisk 120 megabytes this is a nice uh, golden one this ones I use as, as the last resort but uh, when I use them I can only I can't use the all eye function with the Canon 5D Mark III so usually when I use this I put them inside the 7D that I'm shooting right now I'm also using this type of a car this is an, a ScanDisk Extreme 16 gigabyte uh, and this is a UDMA card and actually it did happen to me while using both these types and it happens uh, with using a SD card uh, SD cards uh, they usually uh, my colleagues when I shoot for someone else usually they will bring me a pack of uh, cards I will format them before uh, shooting before starting the day in the camera I will do a format and then uh, just keep a uh, recording uh, on them so basically it happens with any type of uh, a card type okay now the last uh, the last arrow I wanted to talk about is the one I was doing the original video about it's a sound problem uh, I did that I did get that problem after four times that this camera was at a lab uh, they changed the main board they changed the, I don't know, they, every time I, they told me we fixed it, here you go, and a month or two afterwards it simply broke down again, I put it back in place, uh, they gave me a replacement, a 5D Mark II, uh, which I, you, you, you can see it in one of my videos, but uh, basically that's not the camera I wanted, you know, I got this one and uh, it cost more, and. Uh, but I've never had any problem, not with the Canon 5D Mark II and not with the 7D that I'm using at the moment. So basically, all the issues I've been having are solo uh, connected to this specific uh, camera. The problems I've been having, the first time was an Aero 80 and the volume, uh, when you looked at the, uh, at the volume uh, at the menus, jumped from 0 to 100 to 0 like pak 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 it didn't it's only in the display when you listen to the sound the sound was recorded properly but inside the the, the LCD screen when you look at the volumes it just popped up and down so and it had the arrow 80 problem so I put it in the shop they fixed it I got it the 80 arrow 80 again and I got the arrow 70 again I put it in the shop again, I got it back, I got it again, I put it in the shop again, I got it back, and once I got it back the third time, I had the sound issue that's in that video. So I'm gonna put inserts from that video, and basically what you see in it is that the camera wasn't using the internal microphone, and basically it just recorded the, I don't know, static electricity or something. So you simply touched it, you didn't press the buttons, you just, moved your fingers on top of the buttons and it just spiked it did this uh, noises when you use the headset you heard the, this kind of like a when you listen to a old a, a hard disk drive spinning it had this like foo -foo 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 -foo, this electronic sound So basically this is what you heard in the in the headphones and this is also what you heard inside the recording so once I got back for the third time from the place it didn't record sound actually and I did go on a shoot and I just didn't have sound in the camera and you know, 
wasn't very pleasant. I did I, so. Yeah, it was a very annoying, very very annoying uh, element of the camera. Everything you touched on the camera simply uh, produced a, a wild uh, noise. Wild, uh, loud. Then a gap of door. I did bring it back again for the fourth time to the shop. Again, they gave me a replacement. It took a, a few weeks. I got it back. All the and once I've got it back, I looked at it. It looked pretty much okay. I took it to work, and then I'm working, and the entire grip just let go. So they didn't, you know, put it back in. Wonderful. And after that. I did get another Aero 70 and this is also the one you can see inserted when I'm talking about the Aero 70. So this camera is completely lemon, it's a lemon. Within the one year I've been having this camera I had uh, probably uh, three to four months a replacement. So that's not very uh, proper. I did send mails about this camera. I sent also to Israel dealer and to the Canon dealer, the worldwide. I did get a reply to do some steps. Now, when this camera was at the shops, uh, they shops at the lab, they said that they changed the main board twice already. So basically, what they replied for the last time that it happened uh, only a few weeks ago, they replied that it's my problem, uh, which is not very nice of them. Uh, the world one uh, did send me, because I'm gonna simply attach that reply in the comments, in the info about this video, you can read, but basically this is completely frustrating. I, this camera, I did get it with a three years warranty, so maybe I have it for one, but uh, <laughs> I should get two more out of it. But as long as they don't fix it, I don't know. I don't know exactly what is gonna help me having a warranty with the camera that uh, simply doesn't uh, record the uh, important things. Uh, basically, when you look at the Aero 70 video, this is one shot after finishing a wedding ceremony. So basically, if it happened one shot before that, I had uh, I wouldn't have had the wedding ceremony. That's not very good, and uh, I know luckily it did happen one shot after, but you know, doesn't really make me feel much better about this camera. For those of you who asked for this uh, English version of the video, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and that my English wasn't too scary or uh, bad. And uh, well, if you have some advices about uh, what to do next, uh, people that ask me about Canon today. Uh, I am never saying to get this camera because uh, I mean any other camera I, I never heard about any problem like this with any of my friends cameras any other camera that I that I used I never had any of these problems but uh, only this one uh, yeah